Hi everyone, today's topic is uh, the correlation between the Nifty and the dollar index. So here we have two charts, one is Nifty 50 in the blue and dollar index in the red. We'll try to see this charts from three perspectives or three different time frames or three different cyclical uh, ways to look at it. One, the shorter term correlations when we look at extreme short term time frames say within months and a year or two. Second, we'll try to see all the phases where there has been a very clear correlation uh, between the dollar index and the nifty 50 and third we'll try to look at the longer term picture of the dollar index and why it is very important to start looking at this chart on a regular basis so let me start off with the first part the shorter term correlations so if you were to look at the shorter term correlations when you see these two charts it's extremely clear that this is the point of time where you got a top on the dollar index around 23rd 24th March that is the time we had the severe lockdowns uh, announced across the world and that is the time you saw a sharp panic uh, in the stock markets and everywhere else also since then the trend is extremely clear you have a defined downtrend lower tops and lower bottoms on the dollar index and a defined uptrend on the nifty now trying to focus on the extreme short term correlation so this is what you'll notice that almost the peaks and the troughs in the short term are so extremely correlated with the dollar index when this trend sets up when the correlation is working superbly fine it almost is like uh, an exact uh, uh, mirror copy so this is the time where the recent pullback on the dollar index to 9430 happened and since then from 11800 we've gone almost closer to 13000 600 to 13,700 and this is the shorter term correlation this is where the trend has picked up and this is where the trend has picked down on the dollar index now look at the same basis you'll see the last little uptick also coincides with a small peak on the dollar index the same way last little dip on the nifty the little dip is from say 11,800 to closer to 10,800 coincides with a move on the dollar index from 91 to 94 odd levels same way you'll notice the start of the rally in June this uh, the real strong rally in June out here and this little correction also before that coincides this is a sideways period on the nifty and this is where there is a small bump up on the dollar index but this move this strong move on the nifty coincides with a strong down move on the dollar index so almost all the moves in the last between March till December you could actually catch the tops and the bottoms by finding out reversals on the dollar index and vice versa so you would watch for dollar index to give you the indications so for example very recently we all expected a pause out here on the nifty when it started touching 12,500 uh, new previous highs and 13,000 but then what do we see is we see a breakdown on the dollar index and suddenly after a little pause the speed picks up on the nifty so this is where we look at the shorter term correlations and how uh, precisely it works around at the difference of one or two days so that is where we look at the extreme short term correlation now and what do we clearly see in this period that the dollar index is topped out at 103 and has gone to 90 levels this is the period where nifty has had a clear run Similarly, the nifty starts dipping out here below 11,500 and starts sharply falling in the corona virus uh, issue and the dollar index just bumps up from 95 to almost 103 very quickly. So that's the correlation on the opposite side. Let us see another time frame. So this is how we try to look at the correlations on the short term. 
so it is inversely correlated correlated when the trend is there so you tend to look out for say a dollar index uh, a reversal signal for a say for if a, if you see a reversal on the dollar index you start getting cautious on the nifty so which is where we are right now so we are watching this index very very closely let us look at another time frames where this has worked superbly well so first we've understood what are the correlations now we try to look at the clean periods where the correlation is strong the dollar index falls the nifty rallies now a lot of people uh, will look at it from a economic point of view as to how the money starts flowing into various economies uh, when the dollar index falls so for example uh, between 2003 to 2007 uh the dollar index fell and the money shifted to indian equities between 1987 to 1990 when the dollar index fell the money shifted to japanese equities and the japanese real estate market uh similarly in 2008 to 10 when there was a decline in the last 10 years the money shifted to us equities so the case is basically a lot of people on the side of uh, cyclical or economical analysis tend to believe whenever there is a dollar index drop uh, that is the time it starts pursuing uh, equity assets or assets across the world so right now we are looking at it from this perspective so look at it uh, we'll try to look at it from a perspective of only charts and not go into the economic or various uh, relations we'll try to focus more on the simpler side of the things out here because there will be no debate in terms of when we look at a price chart and the correlations in the short term also so let us look at this period so this is where roughly where the dollar index tops out and this is where the nifty bottoms out now consider this this is after demonetization in india the trump event is out over here all right and that is where the rally starts now this was one of the most cleanest periods for equity markets across the world not just india across the world none of the markets really had more than a 8 to 10% correction from the highest point to the lowest point and yet again you will see the same correlation as to how momentum starts picking up whenever there is a shorter term peak on the dollar index now this actually is where most of the equity markets as a whole topped out so this is where in january february is where your dollar index bottomed out the nifty topped out and this was the period where even though post that the nifty did make a new high in this period it was down and sideways it made a new high in this period but since then the broader markets have been down for the last 3 years so in this period we've seen the dollar index do well and this is the period where a lot of uh, broader markets have done badly but what we are trying to focus is on the clean periods where the correlation is so clean that you can actually pinpoint the tops and the bottoms in a uh, in a possible cycle in the short term also but this is the period when there you can define a big downtrend on the dollar index and if a similar trend starts on the nifty it could last for quite some time a similar move happened in march 2009 to end of 2010 a very clear defined move a clear downtrend and a clear uptrend on the nifty and on equities across the world uh, rather the world markets recovered much sharper than indian markets then you can see a similar correlation on the upside where nifty had a dream run when the dollar index first topped out between 2005 to 2007 now this was one superb move a clear defined trend on the nifty and a clear defined downtrend on the dollar index 
then another similar move was a very clean one was between 2002 to 2003 or rather 2003 where you saw a clean move downward trend from march 2003 till 2004 on the dollar index and a clean move on the nifty between this interim bounce we saw a correction on the nifty and this is the time black monday 2004 happened and post that again this correlation resumed which was again a good 6 to 8 month period of a clean correlation there will be interim periods where the dollar index is also up and the nifty is also marginally higher but when clear downtrends get defined that is the time where nifty tends to do well and this correlation could also be looked at in terms of emerging markets and we'll see something similar so whenever the dollar index gives you a big breakdown is generally been a good time for emerging markets like indian india taiwan brazil and we've seen if we pick up the charts of any other markets we'll see the same correlation so this was the time frame so if i unzoom it so what do we realize is the best time frames between 2009 then 2003 to 2004 then 2005 to 2007 very strong established downtrends led to the big bull market and this is where the momentum picked up big way so if you look at this period when this low got broken on the dollar index this is where the madness started in the year of 2007 so this is where the downtrend was there we kept kept on picking momentum and this is where the final madness happened same way 2017 we saw a clear downtrend on the dollar index and a clear uptrend on the nifty so this is how we look at the shorter term as well as uh, the clean periods now there have been periods like this where the dollar index has done well and the nifty has also done well but at this same period of time in this period before this in this downtrend on the dollar index a lot of global indices had already ran up but indian markets were uh, uh, lagging behind on the qe issues then uh, indian elections and then when this move started uh, there was a sideways consolidation in global equities but our markets continued to do well so let me try to see that if you can check out that period all right so now let us uh, so we may want to look at that chart in the dollar but it will take some time for me to do that so i'll keep it simple now we've done the first two parts one shorter term correlations between the dollar and the nifty second which were the cleanest period so this is where we are we are currently in a clean period of trend where the dollar index has in a defined trend on the downside now the last part as to why we need to start looking at this both indices in close conjunction so what we'll do is now we'll try to look at the long term monthly chart of the dollar index and try to compare it with the nifty so this is where it gets very very interesting is this is where the breakdown big breakdown happened on the dollar index back in 2003 all right so this was the turning point for the markets for nifty in 2003 roughly but the major momentum started when it broke below this lows now why is this low very very important is because uh, uh, rather this low because this low coincides with the 1999 2000 bull market peak so this is the most critical price point which is where the momentum went crazy so i'll just zoom in a little and we'll be able to look at it more clearly 
So when this breaks, because this was the downward cycle between 2000 to 2003, which is where the dollar index went up. And then between 2002 to three, it is where it started going down. But this was the period where the index was consolidating, but a lot of sectors had started coming up. We did a very interesting post on this topic uh, called opportunities in a sideways uh, market post a bear market where we looked at how metal index, the PSU index and various indices did really well in the recovery between 2002 bottom or 2001 bottom to 2003, wherein the nifty was still sideways, but all these indices went up 50 to 100 percent. And we are seeing some sort of similarity today wherein uh, metals have done really well. Now, this was the turning point where momentum went crazy. So this was the first breakdown out here and then the continuation of the trend out here. So this is where we started the long term four year bull market on the nifty and in emerging markets across the world. So and this particular price point is very important because this was generally where the Y2K bull market top happened. So this lows of the dollar index are very, very critical because this is where the last top of the bull market is done. So this is a very important point. Why am I saying this is because this is going to be the next uh, similar, uh, say price level, which we have to look for in the current markets. So now what we are seeing is if I were to zoom into the current time frame, we are close to a similar breakdown on the dollar index just like it was in 2003. So this is where it happened in 2002 to 2003. The most critical price point was when it broke below this lows. This was the indication uh, I would again I tend to take the much bigger swing lows but this is the swing low which I'm talking about is going to be very very critical because this was the Y2K boom top so, and this is where madness in terms of a structural trend starts. Now if you were to correlate the same thing happening again so we'll try to take the peak of 2018 which is where most of the markets and equities topped out as a overall say broader markets. So this becomes our critical point. Now it may not happen right away. There will be a lot of uh, say periods of uh, say flip flops possibly just like here. And we don't know how things will develop, but this is going to be the most crucial uh, breakdown over the next coming months and years together. So when we break below the 88 mark on the dollar index in the future, that is where we could get into a structural market where it would be trending up. So all we can do is we can hope that uh, we get a pause here, have a dip. And then when this happens, a lot of economical changes have also happened across the country as well as emerging markets. And this has been a period where uh, the returns have not been great in the emerging markets in dollar terms. So now we could see a shift after a long period of time. So this is the reason why most people are looking at uh, uh, the dollar index because this is the time frame of four years where fortunes were created, the index went from uh, almost 2000 to 6000. We may not get a similar move, but even if we get one third of it, it would be really worth uh, a fortune. Same way, if uh, we see a similar breakdown going forward, we could see a big move and a good opportunity. And that's the reason we are all looking at the dollar index on a longer term time frame. And look at some uh, very important uh, say how it works out as to how these two tops are very similar in 2016 and in 2020. This was the time where we bottomed out on the nifty out here, the bottom of 2016. So how this tends to act as a resistance on the top. So that is why this 88 mark is going to be important going forward. So this is one chart which will remind you as to how things could change going forward and how opportunities could come up. And one more chart to let me share uh, a very interesting chart which my teammate has made. So this is the correlation which he has done. So this is the Nifty 50 versus the Nifty 50 USD chart. This 
Now, I would just focus on the recent period where the Nifty kept on making new highs, but you had almost the same tops on the Nifty 50 in US dollar terms. Now, it is very interesting, say from this point of 2008, the tops of 2008, we are barely higher by less than 20% in dollar terms. So, and this continued to play a resistance for a long period of time out here also. So this top and this top are very close. And similarly, this is where we broke out in 2017 and that is where we got a nice move on the Nifty 50 as well as on the USD when we made a new all time high on the USD. That is where the breakout became really sharp. So we've also finally broken out on this uh, uh, Nifty 50 US dollar terms a retest back to the uh, previous break breakdown breakout points could be very interesting opportunity on a longer term time scale. So this tells you a 12 13 year return for a dollar denominated investment into nifty has hardly given any returns. And since 2008, we've not seen a similar inflow, which happened in 2003 to 2007. So that is the reason where why everyone is looking at the dollar index, because we've just seen what happens when uh, uh, inflows come in a very sharp way. So we've got $65,000 last month, and we've already reached $35,000, $40,000 this month. And we've gone from 11,800 to 13,700. So what everyone is wanting or looking out for is that the current flows and the current momentum is just a trailer. And in the future sometime, uh, the economy picks up and the flows pick up and we get into a period where a very good uh, movie with a nice happy ending comes up. So that is how I'll sum up my session. Uh, today's uh, presentation, uh, keep it simple. Remember these two, three points on the dollar index where you keep a reference 88, 89 on the downside, 94, 50 on the upside. That is where the trend changes, uh, which is the last uh, peak on the dollar index. Uh, in the recent uh, say pullback which we got. So these are the two price points I'll be watching out for big reversal. So at 94.50 would try to review the bullish stance on the markets, uh, the longer term bullish stance or even the shorter term bullish stance. In the near term watch out for 88.89 that is the zone where we should find some bit of support and we are very close to that. So and in the extreme short term we need to be cautious because there could be a bounce back on the dollar index and some correction on the nifty. But on the long term, this is what is the shaping up uh, of the long term charts that the future could be much more exciting and much more interesting than what we are today. Thanks a lot. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please uh, subscribe to us via email WhatsApp. So you can uh, get an update whenever we post something interesting on the website. Rest uh, we do run a training program on technical analysis, which is a video. Uh, it's a good 13, 15 hours of recordings on various topics on technical analysis. A lot of effort has gone into it. It has uh, actually uh, been uh, much more than what we could cover in a two day uh, physical session. We've been able to put a lot more topics here because the number of hours have also gone higher. The second one is analyze with me a practical approach to technical analysis. This is the next step for people who would like to practice uh, technical analysis along with me. So there will be four interesting webinars uh, over a period of a month where we try to look at how to get the trading strategy and psychology, how to do sectoral analysis and do a lot of queries. So this is what we do and rest uh, everything about us is available on our website nureshtech.co.in. Thanks for watching the video. For any queries, uh, you can always get back to us.